we are here to look at the yam farming in cement bags. These uh, yams have been planted for quite a while now. And you can see some of the challenges we have with this system. Um, the cement bags seem not to be very strong enough to hold the sand and allow for tuberization in a manner that uh, the tuber goes into the ground in a way that it does not shoot out the way it has done right now. So you can see here the tuba instead of going growing in the middle, maybe because of the way the seed yam was placed at the time of planting, it came out of the bag. Okay, so uh, and this has stunted its uh, growth. It has stunted its growth. So we, it's not actually the kind of harvest we are expecting. But it looks to me as if there's another tuber inside. But this one is not as uh, big as this one. So what I'm going to do to perhaps reposition this tuber and allow it time to to grow uh, so that perhaps we'll have a bigger tuber at the time of harvest. So we're going to remove this one and then we'll replant this one. Hey, the whole thing is scattering. Like I said, the cement bags is not so strong to hold the soil. So this is what is happening here. It's a learning curve, it's a learning process. And uh, we'll see what we can do in the next farming uh, season. So we have this replicated ar around we still have a situation there where the tubers are out. But I'm expecting that there are some tubers. Uh, let me try to remove this one. Let's see what will come out of here. Okay, it's still, it's still growing. I don't know how many tubers are here. Maybe one, but it's still. Actually, we are told that this variety of yam that we planted here is about this time it really starts growing. Tuberization starts really around this time. So you can see that it's looking fresh, uh, going into the ground. Uh, so we expect that, uh, I should cover it back. You should expect a bigger tuber and a bigger yield at the time of uh, harvest. I think for this type of farming, the the variety is very, very important. There is varietal effect in terms of the tuber size you get. Uh, we have seen other people 
harvesting the yams from their salmon bags and the tubers are really big really big so it's an ongoing process we'll continue to learn from um, this uh, technology and continue to also improve on the cement bag farming uh, the advantage of this is that it allows you even when you don't have land to be able to farm in the confines of your compound and then no need for weeding you can say no need for weeding and it saves a lot of cost in terms of the production of the of the tuba but i think the lessons we are learning is that uh, the bags after some time begin to give way um, so there's a limit to how long you can confine the soil within the uh, the bag and especially once the tuba starts expanding in size and growing bigger Uh, the bag will give way. Thank you very much.